Hello. So, um, as I said on my social media, uh, unfortunately there was some technical uh, issues and I can't stream Modern Warfare 2 today, so I'm going to be streaming House of the Dead Remake instead. Yeah, I didn't, wasn't aware of an update until it was too late. It's a Modern Warfare 2. They have some kind of 50 gigabyte update. It's going to take way too long to download. So, I'm going to be streaming this instead. I usually don't comment on single player game playthroughs, but this isn't really a single player game. It's more of a retro arcade game, which I do comment on. I was actually going to put this, uh, thing, planning to put this as one of my uh, games under the retro game stream. I've already streamed Galaga, and I was planning to add this in, because this is a remake of an arcade game. Oh. I won't talk during the cutscenes. That was close. This is actually a really good remake. Um, if you're a fan of the original House of the Dead, I mean, this is definitely a nostalgia thing. Enemies like spawn at the exact same places as they did in the original. I mean, they, the third party developers got like almost every detail right. Music is not exactly accurate, but I understand that because of licensing issues, so I let that slide. Rogan! It's you! Clumsy, I shouldn't allow that to happen. One of the things I like about this game is how, depending what you do, you take a different route. You see, I shot the the monkey on the left, so that actually means I'm going to be going to the right, and that other. That other um, scientist who I saved, if I didn't save him, I actually would have gone downstairs and I would have gone to the uh, sewer area. Oh, I think I missed... Yeah, I missed an uh, extra point opportunity. Oh, snap. This is what I mean by different routes. But this is exactly the same as like the original. This is definitely a good nostalgia game. This game is like mainly designed to be played on Nintendo Switch because they have like uh, controls that are similar to the uh, railgun in the arcades.
Uh, better to disarm the enemies with the chainsaw before. Whoa, that was close. Thank you. points in there so lost the life for nothing. You okay? I was so no scared. Well, a lot of people consider this a classic boss battle in rail shooting games. This is a little bit different, though, from. the uh, original because he, I think you go all the way back in the original you would get his weak spot he wouldn't keep moving forward that box and now I'm going a different route otherwise I would have gone through those doors Sloppy there. Thank you.
thank you. Rats. Shouldn't have allowed that. Again, with those enemies with heavy weapons, there it is on them first. Oh, I can barely see. Did I get all of them? Oh, I guess I did. Remember the days back in the arcade when this was like the rage. It's too bad that not many people play arcade game radio computers anymore. Because of home console games and FPS games, they pretty much disappear in popularity. Hopefully they'll make a comeback one of these days. I don't know if it'll happen though. Just gotta hope. Rats. Kind of interesting. I want to get the extra points though, that's why I sh shot that box on purpose. There we Thank go. You. If you save all of these scientists, you actually do get a bonus room where you can score extra points at the final stage. Oh, snap. Another different round. Just the brightness a little bit. I don't think it's uh, high enough. I probably should have done this earlier. Not too bright. Yikes. Silly me. I want to put it to 55. I think that should be good balanced. I, I changed my mind. I, I want to put it to back to 50. That's too bright. I'll go to 51. Why not? All right, boss time. Remember him at the beginning of the game? Why didn't he get to fight him? So I'm purposely actually going to... I'm gonna, if you take away half his life, all the bats get destroyed, but the problem is you get less opportunity for bonus points. So I'm actually going to purposely let him use all the bats to attack me, so I can get a little bit of bonus points. Gotta do it carefully, of course, needless to say. See what I mean? Okay, I am getting a bit of points here, but I think that's the last wave. Okay, I'm going to have over 30 points, 30,000 points now.
hope they release the House of the Dead 2 remake soon. This is actually pretty good. Again, you know, rail shooters really aren't that popular anymore. Uh oh. Done. Yeah, rail shooters aren't really that popular anymore, so it's a shame. I think it's also sold more on the Nintendo Switch, since it's still just the arcade experience. The controls and all that. And he's gone. Unless you have it your way, Tyrion. I think in the remake, I think they purposely had um, semi-cheesy voice acting. Semi might be a poor choice of words. Stage has like a different variant of a certain enemy. Makes it more creative that way. This must be the security card. Unlocked. It's always a tough area. been kind of an interesting part of the stage we're about to go down to oh this all that speak for itself kind of a factory area really interesting oh snap that was an accident. Well, so much for the bonus uh, room at the end. Just shot one a little bit too many times. I should have slowed down.
congrats I missed the bonus points right, there is a bear I'm gonna want to make sure I take that down as soon as possible oh there are two of them I got bonus points. I got to shoot extra enemies too. That's, again, so much for the bonus room. Man, that's unfortunate. I really goofed up there. It's too late. This must, this be, must the be the security, security card. card. Whoa. points there, my headshots, but oh well. I was like, how did it survive that? Goofing up here now. It's going fairly well until now. Cheerio. I must compliment you. I didn't think you could make it this far. However, this is it. Let's see how good you really are. One particular difference that was different from the original is that in the original House of the Dead, he you would actually see uh, the character jumping, jumping out of the tunnel in, into some uh, into some uh, random space. But here, that's not the case, as you just noticed. 
We're at the final stage, believe it or not. Sim. I must admit, I really respect your consistency, but you will never, ever defeat me. Say hello to my masterpiece! is really tough boss. He's also considered uh, one of the most famous bosses in all rail shooting games.
Now they either buffed him in the remake or he's much tougher than I remember him to be in the remake. They might have buffed him, I'm not sure. I don't remember him being this tough to beat. I know it said unknown, but obviously its weak points are the red spots. Imagine back in the old days, the original version where you didn't wouldn't know where his weak points are though. It would be a real challenge. Once you figure it out, it won't be that bad. Yeah, this is definitely tough. Oh man. Yeah, I'm having to use like three continues on. Like two or three continues on this boss alone. This boss is much tougher than I remember. Everything is over. I have nothing more to lose. However, I must go on. Goodbye, Kyrie. Farewell, Sophie. I'll go with uh, PCR, paper cut radiation. Yeah, there are uh, multiple endings uh, possible in this game, depending how you do in the game. 
uh, I got what was considered the uh, quote unquote normal ending. But anyways, uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I did the stream, I did the playthrough, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Modern Warfare, the update should be... Oh, let's see if I can mute this. Um, I think Mike's too close to the screen. As I was saying, the update of Modern Warfare 2 should be installed by tomorrow, so I should be able to uh, start that tomorrow, Thursday at 4 p.m. And Friday, I am going to be streaming uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I'm going to be streaming Ghost of Tsushima on finally at starting Friday, so looking forward to that. Y'all have a good one. Bye.